Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do this look. This is using the e.l.f. encyclopedia book. Um, I use like four different colors. I use that one, that one, this one, and this one. And they all have like a little bit of a gold sheen, like gold specks and stuff. So they complement each other uh, very well. That's the look. Oops. Looks like that. And then on my lips I just have on a nude and then I have kind of a bronzy look. So if you want to learn how to do this, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is prime your eye. Here I'm using a Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. And just putting that all over the lid. Then I like to use a second base. This is by Flirt Cosmetics. And it's in Sand Castle. And it's a very shimmery light base like that, which is going to go perfect with the color that I'm going to be using. You're going to just put that in the ball of the eye, like that, just to give the, high, the color that, we, that we're going to use somewhere to stick, and even more shimmer. All of these colors that I'm using today are gold-based, like they all have gold uh, shimmers and specks in them, so they complement each other very well. I am using the e.l.f. Beauty Encyclopedia. In uh, the Sparkle Eye Edition, which looks like that, when you open it, you have 12 colors, um, and then two cream eyeshadows, one eyeliner and one brush, but I don't use that. But the colors are really, really good. They're not as like highly pigmented, but if you layer them, they actually turn out to be uh, really, really good. I'm using a brush like this, and I'm taking the second, well, the second row, the first color, and just picking it up. And this, you can't really swipe it on, you have to pat it on, because you will get fallout. So then just be very careful like that. Patting this on. Like that. Okay. Then I'm going to be taking a small precision brush, like this one. It's a pencil brush. And I'm going to be taking that blue, that blue right there, and that one has uh, gold in it, gold specks in it too. So you're just going to cut the crease with that and have a little bit of a V and bring it all the way in. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So just like that. And right now I know it looks a little bit like a clown makeup, but don't worry. So I don't know if you can see what I did so far. Then, taking a blending brush, this is one by Sephora. You're gonna pick up the black, and the black also have gold, also has gold specks in it. So you're gonna kind of pat that on, and then little by little, start blending that upwards, and just blending up like that. And once you get Okay, so mine looks like that. You know, it's blended, but, you know, it's still kind of, like, messy. So then I'm going to just take my, um, this is the one up by a crown brush. It doesn't really have a name, but it's the really big one like that, the big, the big brush. And I'm taking Vanilla by MAC, and I'm using that as a highlight. So just putting that underneath the brow bone, the brow bone and then blending that into the blue. Or aqua, whatever it's called. But just like that. And then if it's a little bit messed up on the corner, you don't need tape. All you need to do is kind of clean up the edge like that. So then, you know. And if you need to blend it a little bit more, um, either use the flat blending brush or a regular blending brush. This is just a flat one. And you just got to kind of make sure that everything is nice and even. Which, you know. Then taking that little brush again, uh, sweep some of the blue underneath your lashes. Like that. And then taking the petal brush again, taking that first color that we used, and just popping that back on the lid. Because when you blend, it tends to like go away. So you always want to, you know, re-add that. And then if you add a little bit too much, just very easily, blend. You know, nothing difficult here. 
Then you're going to line your eyes. And I'm using a gel liner by Hip. This is in the 905 Black, which looks... I've had this for like a year. It is awesome. It lasts a long time. If you treat it right, it will not dry out on you. You know, you have to close it right away when you're done using it. You know, just treat it good and it will last a long time. So then just line your eyes. Okay, then curl and add mascara. And the mascara that I am loving right now is the Dior, Dior Show, which looks like that. And the reason why I love it is because this brush, I don't know if you can see that, but this brush right here, oh, look at that. It's like an inch long. It's awesome. So after you curl, just add the mascara on both top and bottom lashes. And then you could take a little brush like this and then add that white that comes in the palette, that first white right here. And you're going to add that to the inner tear duct right here. And I like to do that after I applied my um, eyeliner and stuff just so that I know exactly where to pop that color. Then taking the... Uh, the little small brush that we used, you could take the black that is in the palette and sweep that right underneath like that. You can line your waterline if you wish. And then also, um, okay, and then just taking a big fluffy brush, you know, wipe away any um, fallout that you may have. I'm just going to show you the look up close and personal. <laughs> This lighting kind of sucks. I'm by the window and there we go. So it looks like that. I know that my camera is washing me out a lot. So it's looking a lot lighter than it really is. It kind of looks like the green and, and yellow look that I did a couple weeks ago. But it's not. It's really it's a really pretty aqua um, blue with lots of gold little shimmers. Now for the lips, even an orange um, fresh salmon or you know, Vegas, Vegas Volt, something like that. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a nude lipstick. And this is in uh, Myth by MAC. And this is my favorite nude. That's why it's like almost down to the bone. <laughs> but we just I just pet it on. This is a satin. So it can be a bit drying. If, it's like a... A pink a pink with like a little bit of blue of a blue sheen to it but it's really it matches hue perfectly it's by covergirl like I already said so I'm just applying that and then for I'm using this by Laura Geller it looks like this it kind of looks like a um, like the mineralized thing for MAC, this is the bronze and brighten. So I just take that on a blush brush and just put that on. Since I have um, so much color, I don't want to put on like a bright pink or anything like that. So it goes like that right in the apples of my cheeks, giving me a bit of a bronzy look. You know, if you contour, do all that. So yeah, this is the finished look, which looks like that. Let me just get close so you can see. So it's a very, you know, it's more of like a, of an evening look to go out. You know.